Let me stand up so everybody can see you. We have so many more than this in practice.
him, except for Ellery and Brent Johnson, to go back. See that room with the curtains closed? Can you guys go back there and get your costumes on, okay? You can. That a census should be taken of the entire Roman world. Everyone was going there to the town they were born in to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. Then he went there to register with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was expecting a child. And in Bethlehem, they found no room for themselves in the inn. <coughs> so while they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And they found a stable that had animals in it. <laughs> And in that stable, Mary gave birth to her firstborn son, and she wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in the manger. <clears throat> and there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flock of sheep by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. They were very scared and shaking in their robes. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Because today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord, and this will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and laying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, and they were praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on peace, on earth peace and goodwill towards men. And when the angels had left them, the shepherds spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And they went and they saw the baby Jesus. The shepherds traveled to Bethlehem, to the stable, <laughs> to see the newborn baby. <laughs> Very quickly they did. And then they went and spread the word. <laughs> and they were telling everybody about this new baby, the Savior, that had been born. <laughs> and then they returned to the hills where they came. And they were glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had seen and heard. And some were a little more tired than others. <laughs> he had spread the word a lot. <laughs> now, far away in the east, there were three wise men named Casper, Melchar, and Balthazar, who had watched the sky for many years. They knew that someday a new star would rise to announce the birth of their king. And at last, it appeared. It was a bright, glowing star they'd never seen before. And so these wise men, who were also called the Magi, set out to follow the star. <laughs> and they traveled westward across many miles of deserts and mountains with their star as the guide, and it led them to Bethlehem, 
and the star shone over the place where Jesus lay. And they entered, and when they saw the baby boy, they knew they had found their king. And they realized that Jesus was born a king, not that he would become one later on. And they were so happy and full of joy that they had found their Savior, and they bowed down and worshipped him. And they gave him gifts fit for a king, gold and wonderfully scented, frankincense and myrrh. <laughs> and every year we celebrate the night of Jesus' birth because that's the night God's promise came true, his promise to send a Savior. Jesus is that promised Savior, and Jesus is the true star of Christmas. And now we would like to share a few songs with you. So if our shepherds could come over and join the group. Can you guys stand up? Just get the base of the front. 